Scientists today made an ominous prediction. We'll be seeing more extreme weather, like the flooding that killed at least 30 people last month in the Southern Plains, while damaging or destroying thousands of homes. And on the other side of the world, the extraordinary heat wave that killed well over 2,000 in India. They traced the cause of it all to the very top of the world. Here is CBS News correspondent Chris Van Cleve. May took Texas from drought to destructive floods, while on the other side of the globe, excessive heat turned deadly in India. In a paper published today, researchers from Rutgers University offered an explanation for why, arguing climate change in the Arctic is slowing the jet stream over the northern hemisphere, leaving the weather increasingly prone to repeat. Climatologist Dave Robinson. Everything slows, and with it, weather patterns persist over areas for longer periods of time that could make a wet situation dangerously wet. It could make a heat wave dangerously long. Typically, the jet stream would move storms from west to east across the U.S. In May, it funneled storm after storm to Texas and Oklahoma, resulting in the northeast being unseasonably dry. California stuck in drought, and Alaska having its first 90-plus degree day earlier than ever. May was such an unusual weather month. What happened? Nature hit pause. The National Weather Service's Chris Vaccaro says the phenomenon can happen anytime. We even can see this in the winter months in the Northeast where you'll have, like in the, in the Boston area, where we had repeated snowstorms over a short period of time. Forecasters say the storms in parts of the Northeast and the weather we're seeing here in the Mid-Atlantic today are signs that the weather pattern is off repeat. That's welcome news for folks in Texas who are finally getting an opportunity to dry out. But, Charlie, no sign of relief for California's historic drought. Thanks, Chris.